guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, like you saw in the title, is on the ABH Sultry palette. Look at it, it's so pretty. I really, really, really like the packaging of this palette. It also goes perfectly with these nails that I'm wearing. So pretty. They are from Marmalade. They are the gold chrome style. I'll leave that linked down below if you want to check it out. Also, I'm really loving this lip combo. I decided to go for all EVH lip products. So I'm wearing the Hollywood Matte Lipstick and then I popped on the Pink Tourmaline Gloss Over Top and it's seriously just so pretty. I just really like it. <laughs> I am a bit behind on the releases, so I'm sure you guys have seen this, but I hope that my video brings you a bit of something different to uh, try out with this palette. So it is pretty much all neutral shades, and then we get one pop of color right here. So before I talk too much, why don't we jump into the looks I've created, and then stay tuned at the end for a review on the palette. Alright guys, for look number one, I'm starting off with the Kat Von D Smith's Lip Liner Pencil. I use these specifically on my eyes and they are amazing. So I'm just adding that in my crease and then I'm taking a dual fiber blending brush. This one is from Luxie and I'm just blending that into the skin. I use these because they are a great base for eyeshadow. And underneath of this, I just have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer down. And then I will just set it with a powder. Now I will do this for each look. Now we're ready for shadow. Going into the Sultry palette, I'm starting off with Bloom. And I'm taking this on a fluffy blending brush. And I am adding this to my crease. Now I didn't mention this in the review at the end. But I do find myself having to dip in the pans quite a lot to um, get the most shadow, if that makes sense. I'm going to take Fresh on a different fluffy blending brush and I'm going to make sure that that is all diffused going up into the brow area. And then I just add a little bit more bloom in the crease. Now I'm going to be taking Dystopian, which is that deep brown shade, and I'm placing that in my crease with a small smudger brush. And then I'm picking up Twig and I'm going to blend that darker shade into Bloom. I thought that other brush was going to work but I didn't think it worked very well so I switched to a MAC 217 and I'm just merging those two shades together. And then I'm just going back with a little bit more Bloom to make sure that color is really saturated okay now i'm going to cut my crease with some mac pro longwear concealer and i'm using an alomar concealer brush this is the best brush i love it so much okay so for the look i'm going for is a winged out look so i'm taking this up in the crease and i'm going to wing it out And I know I spend a lot of time cutting the crease. I just really want to make sure it's perfect before I kind of set that or do anything else. So let's talk for a second. <laughs> I've watched so many Avril Lavigne conspiracy videos. What do you guys think? Because sometimes it makes me think that it's not really her and then other times I'm like well maybe she just got really 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 skinny because I know that when you get really skinny your face changes so I don't know let me know what you guys think down below 
All right, so once I feel like that is perfect and blended the concealer into the skin, I'm taking rose quartz and I'm gonna be packing this on the lid. This is such a pretty color. It's like the perfect BB pink, but it's not really pink. It's just like blush. It's beautiful. Then I'm going to pick up pearl. And I'm going to put that right there in the very inner corner and blend those two together. So I'm going back to rose quartz and I'm taking that further along the lid. And then I'm going to pick up dystopian once more and I'm going to be weighing this out. So I'm putting it, I'm like stamping it with a smudger brush into the lash line and I'm weighing that out a bit. Then I'm going to be picking up twig again and I'm going to softly diffuse this so it's going to be like a smoky wing. And then I'm picking up bloom again and I'm going to blend that into it, if that makes sense. So it's just going to be like a gradient of these colors. Now I'm taking fresh and I'm going to put this right in like the winged out crease area just so bloom blends into that. And then I'm taking more of rose quartz and putting it in that area. I'm sorry, my commentary sucks. It's so hard for me to explain some things sometimes. So I'm just darkening that wing area. And now I'm going to be cleaning up the whole wing area with a wipe. Just so it makes it nice and sharp. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer and that Alomar brush and I'm really going to sharpen up that wing area. Then I'm going to take the KBD Smiths liner again and I'm adding this to the inner half of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking Bow and Arrow liner from KBD and adding this to the outer half of my lower lash line. Then I'm just smudging them together. Then I'm taking Bloom. And I'm going to add this to the inner half. And then I'm going to take twig and add this to the outer half. Then I'm just going to blend them together. Now I'm going to take pearl. And I'm going to highlight my inner corner with this. And then I'm going to bring that slightly onto the lower lash line to blend them all together. Now I'm taking the Rouge and Rogue Electra Lash. And this is finished look number one. All right, moving on to look number two. I'm starting off with a black liner pencil and I'm adding this to the outer V and in my crease. Then I'm just blending that into the skin with a dual fiber brush. And I don't know if I said this in look number one, but I always take my time ensuring that this is nice and blended out so that my shadows go on smoothly after. Then I just set it with that powder. And now we're going to jump into the palette and I'm going to start with Fresh on a blending brush and adding this to the upper crease area. And then I'm going to take the shade Slate on a different fluffy blending brush. This one happens to be from Suva Beauty. And I'm adding this to the crease and outer V of my eye. I'm using circular motions. And I do go back with fresh to make sure this is nice and diffused. So now I'm going to take the shade Noir. Guys, I'm using black in an eyeshadow look. It's crazy. <laughs> so I'm just adding this to the outer V of my eye. And I am going to go back and forth with slate to make sure this is nice and blended out. Now taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again and my Alomar Concealer Brush, I'm going to cut out half of my crease. Mm -hmm. 
Once I have the shape that I like, I just blend the concealer into the skin. And then I'm going to take the shade Cyborg and I'm going to pack this on the lid. So now to the lower lash eye, I'm taking this Smith's liner and I'm adding this in the waterline and along the lower lash line. I love this pencil. I would love to wear it every single day. <laughs> so then I'm just smudging it out and then I'm going to take bloom and I'm going to pack this on top. Now I do think that this shadow looks really great on top of this pencil. I did it the other day without like not on top of the pencil and it didn't look as good so layer it on top of the pencil then I'm just highlighting the inner corner of my eye with pearl and then I'm taking noir again with an angled liner brush and I'm stamping that into the lash line I wanted this to look soft now I'm popping on the Rouge and Rogue Dominera lashes and this is finished look number two. For look number three, I'm starting off with Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow Liner. And this is going to be a halo eye. So I am adding this to the outer V and the inner V, I guess, of my eye. And then I'm going to blend that into the skin with a Luxie Duo Fiber Brush. This color is really easy to blend into the skin and then I just set it with a powder quickly. Now I'm taking the shade Birch from the palette on a fluffy blending brush and I'm doing really big circular motions in the outer V and in the inner V of the eye. Next, I'm taking Twig and I'm going to add this in the inner V and outer V of my eye. And then I am going to blend that in with a MAC 217 brush. And of course we are blending, 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 always blending the other colors after every step. Now I'm taking Dystopian and I am going to darken up the outer and inner Vs of the eye. And of course blending some more. And now I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer with my Alomar Concealer Brush once again. <laughs> this is a very recurring theme. But I'm going to cut out the center of my eye for the halo. Once I had the desired shape, I took the brush that I blended in the base from the beginning and just softened those edges so they weren't super sharp. Now I'm taking the shade Steampunk from the palette and I'm going to be placing that on top of where I put that concealer. Then I just picked up the brushes that I used with the brown shades and I'm just Kind of merging them together. I'm taking KVD Bow and Arrow Pencil yet again and adding this to the lower lash line. Then I'm taking this Milani pencil which is a nice gold shade and adding it to the center of my lid. But I don't really think this did anything. Uh, I'm just taking Twig and I'm adding that to the lower lash line and then I'm going to be blending then I'm going to add more of Dystopian to darken that up. And then I'm going to blend all of that out with more of Birch. <laughs> then I just took Steampunk once more, adding this to the center of my lower lash line. And I went in on my waterline a bit as well. 
and it lasted pretty nice. Now I'm taking fresh and I'm going to add this to the inner corner just to brighten up that area a bit. And then I'm layering pearl over top. Next, I'm popping on these Rouge and Rogue Eclipse lashes. And I thought this was a finished look, but then I decided I needed a bit of bloom. And I'm just adding it right there to the inner brow area. And I really liked how this looked. So that's completed look number three. And finally, for look number four, I'm starting off with the KBD Crucifix liner pencil. And I'm drawing this in my crease and then in the outer V of my eye. And you know what's next? I am going to blend that into the skin with a Luxie Dual Fiber Brush. Taking my time to really blend that into the skin before moving on. And then, you know what's next? <laughs> Setting that with a powder. This is the NYX HD powder, by the way. I'll leave it down below. So now I'm taking Fresh from the palette, and I'm taking this on an Alamar blending brush, and I was just adding it to the upper crease area. Now I'm taking Twig on the same brush, and I'm adding this to the crease, upper crease area. And I am gonna go through and darken up that crease with more of Twig, just using a different brush. Using a denser brush will add more product into the crease. Now I'm going to take Dystopian and I'm going to darken up the outer V of the eye. And you know what's next? I'm blending with more of Twig. I feel like by the fourth look now I'm getting to be redundant, but I swear this look is different. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take Bloom, and I'm just taking this like on a shader brush, and I'm packing this onto the inner part of the lid. I thought it would make this look different by not cutting my crease in any way. So then I go back with the brush with more of Twig, and I just make sure that they're blended together. And then I wanted this part a little bit darker on the outer V, so I'm just adding more of Dystopian. But I'm still making sure it looks nice and soft. Well, soft in a bold way. Soft, like in a no harsh line kind of way. <laughs> so then I'm just making sure everything is blended. Now I'm taking the KVD Crucifix liner again. And I'm adding this to my waterline and going along my lower lash line. Then, of course, blending that out. Then I'm picking up Dystopian again and layering that on top. And then I'm taking Twig and I'm going to smoke that out. Then I'm taking Teak and I'm going to add this to the inner half of my lower lash line. Thought it would make this a bit different. And then I'm taking Rose Quartz and I'm highlighting the inner corner with that. Then taking Pearl, I am highlighting my brow bone. And then just popping on Rouge and Rogue Domineer lashes. And this is finished look number four. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed those looks I created with the palette. I hope it encourages you to try something new using this palette or any palette really and just more techniques. I actually had a lot of fun creating these looks surprisingly. When I first saw this palette, I was like, it's so neutral, how am I ever gonna create something with that? But this shade right here just it it just it makes this palette 
something that I want to reach for like all the time. This color, I just love this color. You guys know I love corals. On the other hand, I do think there are a lot of shimmers in this palette. I do think they need at least one more lighter transition shade because these kind of are a bit dark for uh, lighter skin tones, but I mean on medium deeper skin tones, probably so beautiful these, these colors as transitions. The shades are easy to use, the shimmers are beautiful, and guys, I used black, I used black eyeshadow for you guys, so I think that's another uh, feat in itself. If you guys don't know, like black eyeshadow intimidates me to no end. <laughs> I'm such a pastels girl that I try to avoid black like at all costs because I just get so scared and it intimidates me so much because I'm just afraid of like ruining a look by using black but I mean this look is everything. I really 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 like it. So yeah like I said they're easy to use, easy to blend. The only thing is the mattes are satin mattes which if you <laughs> know me I kind of despise satin mattes. I just think that in, in real life they look beautiful, but like when I photograph them, I don't like the way that they look like a pure matte looks. And that's just like being very picky. I do prefer a pure matte shadow. I just think that it looks really, really beautiful in photos. But that's just because like I take photographs of my makeup all the time. <laughs> So like the average person or like someone who doesn't take close-ups of their eyes isn't that isn't gonna be a big deal for them. I know that satin mattes are a lot easier for most people to work with, but like I said, the shadows are really easy to use, easy to blend. So if you guys wanted to purchase this palette, if you haven't already, I will link it down below. And everything that I used today will also be linked. I know I used a lot of pencils in this look for um, my base, but that is just the way that I like to do my eyeshadow. You could totally, my hair is falling out. You could totally do this look without one. It's just the way that I prefer to do my makeup. So with that being said, I will give this palette a thumbs up. I'm seriously so surprised that I actually really, really like this palette, especially with it being so neutral. Your girl loves her colors, so I think that you can create so many looks with this. And if you guys choose to recreate any of my looks, I'd love to see them. Please tag me on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the looks that I created. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me which look was your favorite. If you do have the palette, are you loving loving it? Are you not loving it? If you don't have it, are you thinking about purchasing it? Let me know all down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. It would mean so much to me. And I think that's it. Thanks again for watching and I will hopefully see you on the next video. Bye guys!